Let's go to Tanzania now where a man has invented a device that can control a home through a mobile phone device. Now Robert Assay's smart house solution can manage light, smoke detection and motion sensing systems when the owner is not at home. He's just one example of the increasing number of Tanzanian innovators. Now a report titled Global Innovation Index 2018 released recently shows that Tanzania is one of the top five low-income countries with high innovation innovation growth. CGTN's Daniel Kijo with more. This young inventor is providing solutions for some of Tanzania's challenges. 23-year-old Robert Asse has come up with this smart house. It's a home management solution that can be operated remotely. He says his drive to invent started from childhood. <laughs> I didn't like it when I saw others invest stuff while I couldn't. I always strive to make sure I too learned how to do it. The technology uses digital cellular networks and microcontroller and programming devices with sensors to alert the owner via mobile phones. It's currently a prototype, but Robert says once it's scaled up, it will be useful to many Tanzanians. In the home, the system can be used to switch on devices. It can tell you what device has been switched on and what is off. The Global Innovation Report 2018 ranked Tanzania fifth in a group of innovation achievers behind South Africa, Mauritius, Kenya and Botswana. Robert Assay's teacher believes that Tanzanians, like Robert, can develop more solutions for the country. They have abilities even more than other youths across the world, and they too can compete not just here, but even globally. Tanzania's success on the list came partly because of the innovation of improved stove technology that reduces the consumption of firewood. Despite this growth, experts say there are still challenges. Most people who are engaging in innovation are young entrepreneurs. They cannot afford to acquire these spare parts and if you look at the finance sector uh, most financiers banks and other financial institutions are not willing to finance these uh, new ventures experts now call for more links between financial institutions and inventors so that inventors like robert can take their ideas from the drawing table to the market daniel kijo cgtn Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.